Hello ladies and gentlemen, once again my name is Drew aka the Redrew89 and welcome back to some more Sky Factory. Uh, right now I'm taking care of some magic crops while uh, between the previous episode and this episode I did a little bit of farming here. Got a few redstone crops over here, uh, got a few iron crops and then I just got myself a gold crop. Uh, just kind of waiting for these to grow a little bit here. I've been using the water can the watering can to uh, speed that up a little bit. If I haven't shown you that before, that's actually really uh, really easy here. Let me. Um, okay, well, that's the info. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get the recipe for you here. Uh, watering can. Here we are. So it's real simple. Some stone, uh, a bowl, and some bone meal. Um, actually, no. If I don't know. Uh, let me see here. Huh. Interesting. Oh, okay, well, interesting. Uh, apparently it needs to be refilled, too. I didn't know that. Or, it needs to be filled. I think I did that automatically, assuming that it needed to be done, so... Yeah, because... Okay, well, whatever. So, yeah, um... I, I was doing some farming here to get some iron essence, because you can see I kind of started doing some stuff. Uh, kind of started moving some stuff around, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing back here. I kind of moved everything back here into a kind of a, a less jumbled fashion. A little bit jumbled, but at the same time not so jumbled. Um, got a, a couple of auto autonomous activators set up here. This is basically going to be cobble to uh, material processing here, from you know cobble to gravel to sand to dust so on and so forth, so I uh, I wanted to set this up, and I need a couple more autonomous activators in order to finish this up, um, and then uh, let me just take a look at what I need to do for that. Um, actually, the reason I was farming is because I need more iron. I've only got 12 right now, so let me just go ahead and grab this iron essence here and do a bit of this. That gives me a iron ore, which is actually really, uh, really good. I'm happy with that. I'm also going to go ahead and take this redstone essence because I haven't uh, I haven't seen what this gives me here. It gives me 24. Not bad. I'm okay with that. So I'll just go ahead and put that in there for now. Um, put the essence in here. Um, like I had said last episode, I had updated to the latest version of the pack and it also apparently made some changes. There were some updates to some of the mods, including magical crops. So now, in order to craft some of these things, you actually have to use, in order to like get the essences from the weak to the strong to the so on and so forth, you actually have to use this infusion stone. Um, but it's not too bad. And then you upgrade them, or you make, an, you make a stronger one by using the essence from a crop of the weak, strong, so on and so forth tier, or weak, or regular, or whatever. Um, so yeah, I kind of kind of confused me for a second there, and when I figured it out eventually. So let me go ahead and do this real quick here. This is just a quick way to kind of um, increase the chances of getting additional extra ores. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, using the stone hammer on uh, on iron ore doesn't work with vein miner. Um, I don't know if that's a config issue or something, but I can go through here and just bust these all up and get the broken ores with the additional chance of dropping extras so that's always good and then we can go in here I've actually got a few in here as well so grab this crushed iron ore and hope that maybe we'll get some uh, some stuff here so then let's go ahead and do this now doing this does work with vein miner so that's not a problem I can just do this here real quick and then Grab a hammer and boom, there we go. Get all that crushed ore goodness here, and then we can uh, do that here, like so. There we go. And we got our iron ore sand. And you notice that actually gave me one extra uh, block with that. Just by doing that, I went from uh, 11 to 12, so that's uh, always, always a nice little gain there. Considering I started with, uh, what was it, 8? Yeah, started with 8. Now I got 13. Nice. I'm good with it. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I got an extra one here, too. 
So we can go ahead and do that. Now we got 14 extra irons. Very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and cook that up. So like I said then, just trying to get a couple of autonomous activators set up here, and I'm trying to think of what else I needed. Um, pretty sure that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut while I craft up the stuff that I need to get uh, this little setup out here finished, um, and then I'll be back. Okay, and we are back. So I think I've got everything I need here. Actually, no. There's one more thing that I want to grab real quick. Um, I want some covers. I'm pretty sure we're going to need those just to keep things uh, working properly here. So I already got these uh, few set up here, but I'm going to go ahead and do this to show you guys. I also brought the had some dust and uh, gravel already made, so I brought it out here to put in there. Um, and then let's see here. Let's go ahead and stick that there and see if we can. Um, Maybe. <laughs> okay, there we go. And let me go ahead and grab my crescent hammer just so I can rotate it to there. That's how we want it. And that's going to end up in there. That's okay. We can take that out. Now, the, uh, the way this is going to work is we're going to have cobble coming out of here to this autonomous activator. We're not going to pull it straight from the barrel. We're actually just going to have it come out of the cobble generator so that we're not, like, yeah, going completely hog wild. Um, I'm just taking a moment here to make sure that I'm doing this the way I want it done. So let me see here. It's going to come out of here, and then it's going to go over to here. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Makes plenty of... Uh, that'll work. So that's actually going to be on this side. It's going to be, we're going to have our input on that side. Oh, no, wrong side, actually. Uh, there we go, that side. Our input on that side. And then, actually, it's going to be the opposite side for this one, because I don't think it'll... Uh, actually, no, we can do it the same side. I'm pretty sure we can, yeah. So then we just bring our, yeah, let's go ahead and stick our cobblestone cover right there to see that. And then that way we don't have, um, yeah, that way, don't, that way we don't have things going into the, uh, into the hopper that we don't want going into the hopper. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and stick another one right there. I think we should be able to do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Actually, we are going to need one of these. And look at that. So, actually, these are going to be... These top ones are going to be left-click. I'll take care of that here in a moment. Um, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I just want to make sure that these are going to be... Oh, wait. Um, we're going to have to do that. Just to keep that from... Right. There we go. Okay. Let's, ah. We're going to need another one here, too. Shoot. Okay, I guess I need more covers. Dang. Let's go back to the house. Grab... Uh, where's my saw? It's in here yet. Got a saw right here. Uh, I got a bunch of cobble in here. I had to when I relocated the barrels from over here. I made a mess everywhere, so I just kind of compressed them and said, "Yeah." Oh, uh, so there we go. Got some panels, covers. Excellent. So now we can take these covers. Actually, I don't even think we need covers. I think we can use some uh, some strips to make this work properly. Although it's, I get the feeling that oh, oh, give me that. Let's go ahead and break that real quick. Give me one of these so that I can do that. I think that will work in this case. Yeah. No. Went in there. Gosh. Okay. That and then. Actually, no, it's not right. Uh, hmm. 
no. Uh, okay, so I guess that's not going to work. I guess we do have to use covers. Hmm. Okay. Give me these so that I can do that. Oh, wait, that. And then that. That. And that. And then. No. Uh, there we go. Alright. <laughs> Finally figured that out. Okay. So then we can go up here like so. And of course, that's going to be a problem. Um, so we need another cover here. She was. There we go. Alright. Oh, things, things, uh, things are finally working out here, I think. So there we go. That should work now. And then, um, give me just a moment here, and we should be able to demonstrate this in action. I need to go get some hammers. But first, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and say that is going to be our input. And it should start getting cobble any moment. Yeah, there we go. Definitely, uh, yeah. So we got some gravel in there and some gravel in there. Let's go ahead and throw some more cobble in here. Okay. So this should work now. And then this final barrel will just be like, yeah, there we go. Um, okay. Now the only problem that I'm going to foresee with this is the fact that uh, once the barrels are full, they're going to cause kind of an overflow. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on it and try to devise a solution for that. But uh, let me just take a look here. Let's see. Okay. So the next thing I need to do then, or the next thing I want to do here, actually I need those still. I'm not done with that stuff yet is to get a better solution for my hammers. Right now, I think the only way we're going to... I mean, we have... We're, ooh. Jeez, that's the last of my iron. Really? Wait. No, I just cooked some the Wow. Okay. Almost had a, had a problem there. So now we need... Um, no. Can't need that much wood. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait. One, two, three. We're going to make a filing cabinet so that I can um, store these hammers a little bit more effectively and then have more available. So there we go. There's a filing cabinet. And then all of these hammers in here can come out. Well, as many as I can carry at this point. And they're going to come down here and we're going to put them right here. There we go. So we got 24 in there so far. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more. Grab the rest of them out of this uh, chest here. There we go. Put them back down here. Put them in uh, here. So yeah, the ones with the damage are going to go in there, but that's okay. In their own separate spot, but that's fine. So then we come up here, and we just put that there. We're going to need to reconfigure these real quick uh, so that they are taking that's input, that's input, that's input, and then that's input. And then we just take our transfer pipe. And it should be that simple. Yep, there we go. We've got hammers going into the autonomous activators. Um, so it's going to fill up this one and that one. And then the last one, once it's uh, filled them all up, the way it works is it does it in sequence. Um, so there we go. A little bit slow, but that's okay. I can get upgrades for these eventually. For now, it's fine. Uh, so there we go. It should fill up. Now we can go ahead and tell these guys to left-click instead of right-click. That's why they weren't working right away. 
So there we go. So now you should start to see this whole system go into uh, go into business. Look at that, working. So yeah. Now the only thing I need to figure out here is how I'm going to make this work so that uh, we're not ending up with full barrels uh, very quickly. And I'm gonna have to think about that for a minute. Kind of basically going based on like this is kind of a copy of. Uh, the way Bacon had his setup on his stream, so and I didn't really get a very close look at it, so um, I may have missed a few things, but for now I think it will. Um, I think it will do the trick for now. So just go ahead and wait and see. Let me go ahead and take a look here. If, see if there's anything else I wanted to do this episode. I think we're sh we should be okay with this. I mean, this setup here is pretty awesome. The only other thing we're going to need to worry about then is auto crafting the hammers. It's getting the hammers set up so that they are automatically being crafted. That's one of the reasons why I want to get into dark craft because um, there is definitely uh, definitely a f uh, an item there that will help us. It's called the item card, and uh, once we get to that point, then we can kind of try to address that issue, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here real, real quick while I look into some things here. Try to, try to again, find a, a solution to this uh, little uh, speed bump that I might have encountered here with the whole uh, barrels filling up and, and causing a mess. So let me go ahead and take a look at that and try to find out, pick up some dust. Find out what I can do for that, and then I will be back. Okay, and we are back. So I did consult the wiki real quick, and did determine that it is possible to check the output of a hopper, and you'll have to excuse the rain. It started, and there's nothing I can do about it right now. But it is possible to check the contents of a hopper with a comparator, which requires some nether quartz, which I don't have right now. However, there is a way to make it happen. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's enough time this episode to make it happen, so I will have to come back next episode to uh, get the, uh, the stuff that I need in order to get some nether quartz to, uh, to finish this up real quick. And um, I'm thinking that it'll be pretty straightforward to do what I uh, what I want to do with this. Just get a redstone comparator, and then uh, run some redstone circuitry over to this uh, autonomous activator in the back, so that when that barrel is full and this hopper starts getting items in it, um, it's based on how many of these slots are full. So once it gets to a certain point. Uh, the comparator will output the signal to this autonomous activator to disable it. Because right now it is uh, a signal required is low, and once it receives a signal, because right now I have a lever on it, and that is essentially my shutoff switch. So once there's a redstone signal applied, it will stop running, and it won't uh, it won't go through and do its thing like it's doing right now. So, uh, like I said, then when I come back next episode, we'll go ahead and take a look at that, find out what we need to do in order to get some uh, nether quartz, and uh, then I will be uh, I will be able to finish this build up. So, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Drew, aka the Redrew89. Until next time, take care.